The Jackson Public Schools Board of Trustees is proposing plans to consolidate several schools in order for some other schools to undergo much needed renovation. 12 News Leah Williams joins us live with the latest on the district's plans. Leah. Melanie, tonight the Jackson Public School District held its first of several meetings to discuss the proposed plans with staff and parents. People who attended the meeting were also given the chance to voice their concerns about the possible school consolidations. Several elementary, middle, and high schools in the Jackson Public School District could be closed for repairs next school year. This means hundreds of students would have to be bused to another school. All of the practices that we've been able to pilot during COVID with transitions of students from virtual to in-person, that we could deploy some of those same strategies. So having um, activities over the summer to bridge the two communities, we feel like would be a success. JPS received received millions of federal dollars, which would be used for projects like installing new HVAC systems, adding outdoor learning spaces, and restroom renovations. Baker Elementary School is one of the schools that will be closed, which has neighbors concerned for the security of the building. It wouldn't take long, too long, for the thieves to come in and script this building bare. And we have another big eyesore in the neighborhood. And that's my only concern, is that how we're going to secure this building. JPS says concerns of parents at these meetings will not be taken lightly, but the district is working to quickly start on repairs due to a strict deadline for the money to be spent. One of the other major drivers of the timing around this is the need to spend federal dollars. We have tens of millions of dollars in federal funding. It's important that we act urgently and get the dollars spent so that we don't have to send them back to D.C. JPS says teachers and staff will be moved to vacant positions across the district during consolidation and none of them will be laid off. The next public meeting to discuss the proposed plans is tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. at Pecan Park Elementary. The board is expected to vote on these plans next Tuesday during a regular board meeting. We have more information on those proposed school moves on our website, WJTV.com. Melanie, back to you.